Hi, this is Numeric Citizen here. In today's video, I want to show you how I'm using Craft Daily Notes in order to plan for the upcoming week um, as a content creator. You'll have a peek at my uh, personal workflow for creating content for the web. So let's start. What you're seeing here is the current week uh, planning. Uh, I'm doing my planning on every Sunday and this is for June 5th, uh, so that it's last Sunday. And uh, as you can see in my uh, to-do list, uh, I do have most of the things uh, done, but there is a few things that are, st that are still undone and uh, not, not done, and I want to uh, prepare for the upcoming week. Um, so the to-do list contained um, the same set of basic tasks that will come every week uh, that are listed at the bottom of the to-do list and at the bot at the top of the list are the week's uh, plan uh, task that I want to do. Uh, so let me uh, show you how I'm closing the actual the uh, this specific uh, week. Uh, there is at the end there is a update my uh, publishing publishing uh, timeline which I can click right here. And when I'm switching to the document, uh, this is all the uh, articles I'm planning, uh, working on. Uh, they are at a specific uh, percentage of completion. And uh, what I do usually is that I remove the, the, the articles uh, that I have uh, been able to publish in, in the week. So the last Friday notes um, was number 78 and uh, I'm done with this one. So uh, I'll delete this uh, thing from my publishing pipeline. And the rest of the pipeline is pretty much uh, unchanged. Uh, the next uh, Friday notes uh, will be uh, 79 um, and uh, I'm, I'll be working on that one uh, in, during uh, this week. Uh, so I'll go back to my uh, to-do list and I can check off the uh, uh, update my publishing pipeline. And then at the end of this list, I'll be able to uh, check the prepare for the next week. So for to get a new week, uh, uh, set up, I'll click on today's date, which is uh, uh, June uh, 12th, and I'll insert content from a, a template, which I can type insert from template here, hit enter, and then I select the, uh, the, the upcoming uh, week template that I'm using for that. That's the one here. So this is the repeating tasks that will uh, that, uh, need to be done uh, during the week. And I'll go back to the uh, previous week here and I'll move the things that, was, uh, that I was not able to uh, accomplish. So I'll select those and I'll put them at the end of this current list. So everything else will be done. So I'll move those tasks that I was not able to do and insert them uh, right here at the beginning of the this week's uh, to-do list. And then um, I'll go back to my previous. I have an ongoing series that I'm working on, which is uh, remembering uh, past uh, computers that I that I own and it's uh, it's a it's a multi-part uh, series and I'm, I'm I'm still not done with this one so I'll move all that series there to this week and also make sure that I have a nice separator at, at the right place right here right there so this is the upcoming uh, things uh, that I want to do uh, this week. Um, it's pretty much what I'll be able to accomplish uh, because I have a heavy uh, work week in front of me. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'll go back on the this one. And uh, there you have it. It's a very simple process. Uh, I'm starting it with a template. Then I move all the uncompleted tasks from the previous week to this upcoming week. And then I do. Uh, I, I may decide to add, uh, add a few things 
depending on what I'm planning to do. So it's a very simple process and Craft Daily Notes for that is very useful. Uh, I know that there is a lot of people who will use Craft Daily Notes for, uh, to uh, enter uh, meeting uh, notes or any other type of, uh, or even daily uh, journal. Uh, but for me as a creator, uh, I'm, using, I'm using it for uh, planning my uh, upcoming week. So that's it for today's video. I hope uh, it was uh, useful for you. Uh, don't uh, uh, hesitate to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you for uh, another one uh, in the near future. Thank you.